was booted and um, android is starting okay finally we can put the dna row for samsung galaxy j7 2015 and uh, the home screen look the normal home screen because this room was based on the g 700 t which is running on the nougat update and the app opening time was quick like faster than other room so everything was working fine the same but i like the status bar here you can see let me show you here you can find and not any single the margin like the line so this was also looking cozy like fine so let's go to the setting and i will show you to about phone section here you can see this is the running on the android 7.1.1 the latest android and samsung experience version 8.5 and model number g 700 t and we can got the hyper channel for the better smooth this room and the battery performance so i will show you the ram management and everything in this video so let's get started so here you can see the lt icon watch the change to the 4.5g which is look really really nice and uh, everything was fine like we can got the normal application like this this is the application you can got when you flash this room not advanced so you need to flash the maxi manager in the xt page and you can got the latest gallery so you can got the updatable as note for this device you can write anything as you can want let's go to the another feature you can so here you can see the setting panel again just going to the ram management how many ram we can got in this room so ram doesn't matter but the room was really, really working fine and the fast that the cool thing you can got so we just almost clean 493 mb yeah this is quite nice we can got almost 450 mb so this is not a good now just going to the features there we cannot got many advanced feature but we can got some normal feature like the floating message and app lock and the multi window uh, yeah that's the normal feature we can got and the final thing we can install the always on display so if you don't know how you can install so the click the i button in the upper type or i will give the link in the description box how you can install the aod i will make a separate video for this thing so you just must check this out to how we can install the always on display in your phone and uh, last thing you can got the substratum theme manager so we can got the theme man management like the stock android so you have to download that zip file and unzip that thing so we can got uh, let me show you so yeah you can got the substratum theme management and so just install the application one by one here you can see which we can want the here you can some number of application where you can want so install that all the application so it is just a small size application like 6 kb or 2 kb and after installing just reboot your device so choose that status bar if you want to change your status bar like stock android you can choose that thing yes so after installing all the applications so you just reboot your device like this so it will not not take any type of time it quickly reboot your device and install all the theme wow that food love was really looking awesome <coughs> so guys i just tell you if you won't subscribe my channel and if you visit my channel for first time so please subscribe and hit the like button 
so you can got more videos like this and uh, yeah so device will be rebooted the t-mobile logo yeah finally the device will be rebooted here you can see nothing will really change in the lock screen but when you open that wow that look awesome here you can got the stock android sim management or the look like this is the stock android and here you can see the status bar this is a look really really awesome it's a look like some kind of audio or what the white panel so everything here you can we can install the subtractive theme and all thing was working fine in this theme so yeah guys hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel so i will meet in the next one okay guys thanks for watching peace Attention girl, I know you, know you.